Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. I am Maddie Legere. I am a program manager on the .NET, uh, .NET MAUI team, and I am here to talk to you about how you can build cross-platform apps for iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac with Visual Studio 2022 using .NET MAUI. So .NET MAUI is new with .NET 6. It's in preview right now. Um, it'll be shipping in 2022 as a like GA product. But the premise of .NET MAUI is that you can have your cross-platform native UI built in .NET with XAML and C Sharp and run that same single code base on all four of these target platforms. So Win Windows using WinUI, um, Mac OS with Mac Catalyst apps, and then of course iOS and Android apps for your phone. And everything is from a single project with a single project system, a single code base. It's all in .NET 6 and the future .NETs, whatever comes after 6. So uh, it's modern. You get the newest project file types that we use in Visual Studio. And it was built to be optimized. Um, it was optimized to be used with Visual Studio 2022. And like I said, you get to deploy to all your different devices, mobile and desktop. So we'll look at how we can do that within VS. Um, and the previews are out now, so you can actually try it today. Uh, the best Visual Studio to use right now with .NET MAUI is going to be the Visual Studio preview release. So it's 17.1 right now, uh, as of this video airing. So the GA brand new VS 2022 has some basic support for .NET MAUI, but if you want that full file new experience, I would definitely recognize, uh, recommend using the preview release. Um, and you can do that at aka.ms slash VS preview. I'll put it in the show notes so that you see it. Um, but definitely check it out. And then you can get uh, more info on Maui from the GitHub. So all of that is to say .NET Maui is the most productive way to create native, performant Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows apps all from a single code base. So this is actually one of our like sample projects running on all four different types of platforms. Um, just screenshots of it, and you can see it looks the exact same. Uh, we have the .NET bot saying hi. And let's take a look at how we can actually get all this rolling right now in Visual Studio 2022 preview. So I'm going to un un-PowerPoint. Um, this is VS 2022 preview branch. And this is a file new .NET MAUI project. So what I did was when I opened the Visual Studio installer, uh, I clicked on the Xamarin mobile development workload. And then there's a little checkbox that says .NET MAUI parentheses preview. And that is checked by default now for you in the preview branch. So you don't really have to do anything, but go take a look at it. Um, and then I was able to go file new project .NET MAUI. And this is what popped up. I didn't change anything except for uncommenting out this line right here. Um, and these lines, these two target framework lines here in my new SDK style project file with .NET MAUI tell me all the different frameworks that I am targeting with this app, with the single code base right here. So I'm targeting iOS, Android, Mac via Mac Catalyst, um, and then of course, Windows. So let's take a look at what this project actually looks like. Let me pop this open. So it's one project in my solution. Um, and in this project, I have just a XAML file. That's where all my UI code is and my logic for this app. It's a sample template app. It's uh, very simple. It's just in the code behind. I have my app entry point, Maui program.cs, C sharp file. And then I have a platforms folder, which if I ever needed to put any platform specific code for just the Android app or the iOS app or when, whatever, that can go in my platforms folder. Um, and then I have my resources folder, which is my favorite part of Maui that you can share everything across all the platforms with just one copy of it. Um, so previously, if you were building a multi-platform app using Xamarin or something else with uh, .NET and VS, you'd have to have different versions of the images for every platform you wanted it to be on. Um, but in this case, you just have one SVG, one app icon and the app icon foreground, and we uh, load them all in through the project file here. And it's a wild card for images. It's a wild card for fonts. So anything I stick in there is going to be good to go. Um, and then those will all get loaded and, and sized properly for the platform I'm targeting. What's also really cool about Maui is that we have uh, app icon and splash screen helpers. So instead of having to build custom ones for each platform, you can uh, just include a foreground file here um, and an app icon and then just call it is app icon true. Give it a background color if you need it. 
And it will smush all those things together to create the app icon for you, like the little launch icon when people click on the home screen. Um, and likewise with the splash screen. So those are some really nifty tools we added into Maui, just kind of from the fundamental SDK layer to make developing really easy. But this is a Visual Studio talk. So let's take a look at how we can get this all working for fun with the IDE. Um, so I can target all the different platforms right here with my framework selector. So you see all the ones that I have uh, in my CS project file are listed here, iOS, Android, Mac, Windows. Um, and I'm going to deploy this to my Windows machine to start. So while this is building, we'll give it a second. It's just going to think up. Um, and it's going to pop up on my second monitor. But VS 2022 has a bunch of cool features, uh, not to mention the themes are amazing. I have been loving playing around with them, but this is like my favorite shade of purple. So I actually left it, but I did spend a lot of time before this customizing a new theme for myself. Um, perfect. Okay. The app actually popped up for me right here in XAML Live Preview, which you might have seen in the keynote. Um, XAML Live Preview is a tool in the IDE that basically screen mirrors your running app. So here's my Windows app over here. It popped up on my second monitor, my main monitor. Um, and I can drag in and interact with it, but it's kind of a pain to bring this over and resize it and then resize VS and blah, 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 so I can develop all on one monitor. So instead, I have my live preview tool here. Um, and I can add my rulers and see kind of the pixels and everything and clear that. I can zoom in and out. Um, and it's reflecting the app live. So as I click on it and interact with it, um, it's updating here in this window too. So this is a very simple app. This is the template. Like I said, when you file new, this is what you'll get. Um, the only difference is it won't say hello windows. It'll say hello world. And uh, one of the best things I think about um, .NET MAUI is the XAML hot reload feature, which is just you change the XAML and it updates immediately. So changing text is a pretty basic example. You can delete a bunch of stuff, add a bunch of stuff back. My favorite one to demo is always changing like the background color to something obscene, like hot pink, right? Because that looks disgusting, but you notice it. Um, and I didn't have to save the file or anything. I just was able to change that XAML. And then I'm like, oh, I don't like that. That's disgusting. Undo it. And it goes right back to it. Um, and with Live Preview, it's all in the IDE. I don't have to like look at my second monitor and be like, oh, did it change? Nope. It's all right there. So XAML hot reload's great. Big fan. Uh, but we also have something new in Visual Studio 2022 called .NET Hot Reload. Because XAML Hot Reload can only change XAML. What if I wanted to change my C Sharp code? So this button here, like I said, it's very simple. It's just the code behind of my XAML page. I have a little incrementer here, count plus plus. Um, and then if I click it, it increments it by one. But what if I wanted to increment this by two? I can change this to count plus equals two. Very expert code here. Um, and then I'll hit this little hot reload button. And you'll see that my state of my app actually saves. So my current count is still 13, even though a bunch of stuff is happening behind the scenes. And now when I click the button, it goes up by two. So it stays odd the whole time, the odd numbers. Um, and then I can change it back if I wanted to, all those different things. But my state is totally maintained when I do the .NET hot reload. So the way that it works is anything within a method for mobile or, uh, yeah, for mobile. Android and iOS, anything within a method, the method just gets reloaded. And so when I click the button again, it triggers the new method I just sent over with .NET hot reload. Um, and it's it's really awesome, especially for me when you make like ridiculous API calls and you have no idea what you're doing and you need to just tweak them as you go. This has been a game changer for me and it's new in VS 2022. So Windows is just one of the platforms. Um, I'm going to stop debugging that, and we're going to switch over to Android. Um, so let me just check that everything good. We're saved. Okay. Um, and then you can see my Android emulator popped right up here. So I had created this before. It's persistent across my different Visual Studio instances. Um, if I ever wanted to create a new Android emulator, I could use this Android device manager right here. Um, and then I'm going to deploy it. I think I have to switch and then switch back frameworks because I have a little bug right now that we're fixing. Switch and switch back to Android and then deploy. Um, and this is the same, I mean, it's the same XAML page we just had on Windows. So you'll see it says hello world now. All the things we had before. It did save all my files for me. So we'll get that um, odd counter increment. Um, it's thinking down here. Deployment was successful. Fantastic. 
It's launching. You can see my little launch screen, my purple with the .NET logo. And same thing as before, the Android emulator pops up on my second window, but instead of resizing my IDE, I can just have it all beautifully right here. Um, and then I'll zoom this out and we'll switch this from hello world to hello Android. Easy, just like that. Um, and then I'll click this button. We're incrementing by two, how wonderful. Now it's all even numbers all the time. And then what if I wanna change this to like a decrementer? Get the count down, hot reload it. Same situation, same as I had on Windows, same code, same live preview, same um, hot reloading, clicked it, reloaded it, and now it's gonna go down by two. You can even get into the negative numbers, pretty exciting. So um, yeah, same experience cross-platform. This is one of the things to me that I think has made Maui really fun is like, I feel at home developing for Windows and for Android at the same time. Uh, but that's not all the platforms, of course. So let's stop this and let's take a look here um, at my different platforms. So we have Mac Catalyst and iOS we haven't talked about yet. So Mac Catalyst, because that runs natively on your MacBook or your Mac, um, iMac or whatever, we can't deploy that here because this is a Windows machine, it's not a Mac. But I have an iPhone. And I would like to get this app running on my iPhone without having to have my MacBook in the loop. Um, so it's off. It's It hasn't been updated in a while. I don't even know where it is. Um, but I do want to get this iOS app here running on my phone. And it has the files it needs to launch from the file new template. Um, it just doesn't have the ability to build without a Mac necessarily until we came out with Xamarin and now .NET MAUI hot restart. And so I've signed in with my Apple ID to Visual Studio, and I did that a while ago, um, and it's persistent across all my VSs. Um, and I have iTunes installed so that it can communicate with my iPhone. If I switch my target there to iOS, you see I have these local devices, simulators, and remote devices that pop up. And in local devices, it actually recognizes my iPhone. So I can select that, and let me just do that little framework switch thing one more time. Boop. It just needs to like refresh the cache basically to remember to build for iPhone instead of Android. It's very weird. We filed the bug. Do not worry. Um, and then I'm going to go and deploy this on my iPhone. So it down here, you can see it's doing a bunch of stuff. But the most important thing is it actually provisions a profile for the iOS app, uh, which would traditionally have to be done on your Mac, but it's doing it all on Windows. Um, and I actually have my iPhone screen mirrored so we can watch it Boop. using something called Reflector. Uh, this is not working for live preview yet. So you get to now witness the pain of having to like drag this over and resize it and all that, um, which it's like feels archaic now that I have live preview to just pop it up for me. But it's doing all the things. It's going to ask me to launch it. Once I have connected to a MacBook once, I actually don't have to launch it anymore myself. But um, because I haven't connected this to a MacBook yet, this app, I will launch it manually. It's going to take a second to load up. Um, you can see that it's actually the old launch screen. And that's because the way we use Hot Re the way Hot Restart works is we actually build like a shell app that we've provisioned that you stick your code into. Um, so it's the same app in there now. And I can click it and interact with it. I know it says Hello Android and the, the counter is still going down by two, but it's there. It's running on my phone. Very exciting. Um, and I'm actually now able to unplug my phone and test this app without debugging as well. So I will stop this. That was a whirlwind tour of .NET MAUI and VS 2022. And as I'm sure you've seen in all of the other amazing presentations, there's a lot in VS that shipped this year, not to mention 64-bit, hello, very cool. Um, so check out all the other talks, but let's look at, just for a second, um, the roadmap for MAUI. The roadmap. It's pretty simple. Use the preview version of VS 2022 if you want to use .NET MAUI. Um, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the demo, if you want to use VS 2022 17.0, which is what's shipped now, the GA version, it has some basic MAUI support. But if you want it to install it for you, if you want it to have the templates and all that wonderful stuff, um, Preview is the way to go. And then that will ship at some point in 2022 as, as the GA version of Visual Studio. So Maui will be part of your day-to-day -day life 
uh, until .NET MAUI itself ships GA probably around Q2 2022. We're waiting to make sure that um, we have all the tooling we need and that the quality bar is where we want it before we ship it uh, GA, but it will be part of .NET 6, uh, which is shipping this fall. And so some resources if you want to learn more about .NET MAUI, uh, of course, the GitHub, the blog, it's part of the .NET blog now, so you can just go into the MAUI category. We have Docs up. There is a beautiful sample app that David Ort now, another PM on our team, has built. Um, it's a weather app. So you can check that out. It's kind of a more uh, realistic example of what like a really pretty Maui app could look like, not just your file new hello world. And like I said earlier, there is a preview link, aka MS VS 2022 preview. And that is how you get the branch uh, of Visual Studio that you need to get rolling with Maui, just like you saw today. So that is all I have for you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this whirlwind ride of VS 2022 and developing for iOS, Android, Windows, and macOS with .NET MAUI. And you'll hear plenty more about this throughout the next few months as we get closer and closer to shipping. So feel free to reach out anytime, whether it's on Twitter, um, over my email, uh, in all the different ways. And I'll hopefully be able to answer some of your questions and enjoy Visual Studio 2022.